Americans, like people in most other parts of the world, have been getting significantly heavier in recent years, and public health experts say soda and other sugared beverages are a big part of the problem. Well, obesity is a problem that's sweeping the world. America has been in the lead. Mexico has taken, overtaken the United States now. Uh, but it's everywhere. In, in Europe, uh, even China, urban China, is experiencing, is experiencing an increase in obesity. And the Middle East, is, uh, obesity is certainly a problem. I think governments are going to have to figure out what to do about it. The nonprofit Center for Science in the Public Interest, along with the public health authorities from a number of American cities, are asking Washington to limit the amount of sugar that soft drink manufacturers can put in their products. Sugar is responsible for part of the obesity crisis in the United States. Over the past 30 years, rates of childhood obesity have doubled rates in uh, adults have doubled and super obesity has gone up fourfold. And there's a, a good deal of scientific research demonstrating that sugar drinks are a significant part of the problem. So the Food and Drug Administration here has the obligation to ensure the safety of the food supply. And when a product is causing obesity, which is rampant in the U.S., the government needs to do something. Many consumers recognize the public health issue, but they are divided on whether government should regulate sugar consumption. I think it may be a good idea, especially being an epidemic of obesity, especially in our country. In fact, I have a 12-year-old granddaughter that's borderline diabetic, unbelievable. Uh, and one of the things we cut out was soft drinks. She's doing great now not considered borderline, so sugar is the main source. I don't know that it's the government's role to limit the amount of sugar that is added to a soft drink. I believe that it's up to the consumer to make that choice. The beverage industry says the average amount of sugar in soft drinks has fallen in recent years as people drink more diet sodas and bottled water. But some manufacturers are trying to position themselves ahead of the issue. We'd like people to come together on something that concerns all of us, obesity, the long-term health of our families and the country is at stake. And as the nation's leading beverage company, we can play an important role. Across our portfolio of more than 650 beverages, we now offer over 180 low and no calorie choices. This spring, a new law is scheduled to go into effect in New York City, which would prohibit restaurants and other vendors from serving sugared soft drinks bigger than 16 ounces. That's not quite a half liter. Some Americans will say the government has no business limiting the amount of sugar in the soft drinks they consume. But with obesity having become such a huge problem in the country, support for the measure seems likely to increese. Burton Bolag, KSA2, Washington.